Hi guys. So, before I start this video, I would like to thank Tae Yong Hui for giving me this video idea. So if you guys have any crimes or scandals you want me to cover, just leave me a comment or you can DM me on Instagram. I'll reply them. So let's get straight into it. This is Flor Delis, Brazilian gospel singer and a congresswoman. She became relatively famous in the 90s by having this image of a saintly evangelical woman. She has three biological kids and had adopted five teenagers. These eight kids are actually labelled as her eight kids. She also adopted another 50 children which she listed them as the B kids. So just keep this in mind cause the A kids and B kids will come into play later. So back in the late 90s, there were actually rumours going around that she was actually kidnapping these children but because of her whole good godly woman facade, it quickly put those rumours to rest. The rumours however just made her more famous and loved by the public. For the list became so famous that she had a movie made about her. All the profits from the movie went directly to her to help take care of the eight children, with the actors even refusing to get paid for it. After the movie, she released some gospel songs and that became instant hits in both radio and television. So now let's move on to the juicy details. So you remember how I said she had this bunch of kids that she named the A Kids? which were like adopted children mixed with her biological children. One of her biological daughters, Simone, entered into a relationship with her adopted brother, Anderson, when they were teenagers. After they became adults, Anderson actually broke up with Simone so that he could marry fatherless, his own mother. He wanted to marry his mother slash mother-in-law. There were also rumours floating around that there was something really unusual between the three of them, like they would be seen coming out of bedrooms with just towels. The couple also allegedly frequented swinger parties. Allegedly, while the A kids led pretty good lives, the B kids, however, lived in a squalor, reportedly eating old pasta with sausages and dry bread every single day. There was this initiation process when we joined the family. We would spend days dressed in white and locked in a room eating only rice and vegetables. We would also use our own blood to write psalms and after a while, we had to sleep with flawless to be purified from the mundane world. Flordelis also allegedly offered her daughters as a welcoming gift to those who join her cult. So first, she sleeps with her adopted sons and now she allegedly has a cult. So after Flordelis and Anderson got married, Anderson began taking care of the family finances, controlling all the family's money. He went on to become a very successful evangelical pastor and they became the power couple in the Brazilian evangelical circle. In 2019 is where the scandal really took off. So Anderson wanted a divorce but Flordelis was against it. Because if they got divorced, Anderson would take half of the money. And in Flordelis and the eight kids' mind, it was unfair because the other half would go to Flordelis and her 57 children. Later that same year, on 16 June 2019, Anderson got robbed and shot outside their house. The murder instantly became national news and people would talk about it for weeks. Flordelis even gave an interview during her husband's funeral weeping and begging for justice to be done. So fast forward to 2020, in late August, just last week if I'm not wrong, there was a breakthrough in this case. So after assessing the phone of Anderson's immediate family, police found out that Simone and all of the eight kids had plotted to kill Anderson. Allegedly, back in 2019, Flordelis along with Simone tried to poison Anderson by spiking his drinks. They ended up like poisoning a bunch of their kids slash siblings in process, but thankfully of course nobody died. Flordelis also hired a hitman to kill Anderson, but the plans fell through, so she convinced and sent one of her own sons, Flavio dos Santos, to kill Anderson. He shot his stepfather with a gun purchased by Lucas Caesar Dos Santos, one of the couple's adopted children. Flordelis is now in custody of the police as of 26 August 2020. This was a pretty big scandal in Brazil but the rest of the world seems unaware of it. Okay so I just want to apologize because while editing this video I realized I kept saying children, 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 children. Oh fuck! It's children. Children. Oh, oh my. I get a little nervous when I record for some reason. I just mispronounce a lot of things and my voice just become like really... Uh, so yeah, forgive me. 